I can't go on. I can't go on. But Robin Bingson, he certainly can go on. He has made it to the final of Melody Festival in 2017. This is for the second year in a row. He took his fame from Idol and he has run with it. Should we talk about the song? Let's do this! Devin, this song is at once vintage and contemporary. He's kind of straddling the line between... Kills it. Yes, between funk, soul, pop, and a very... R&B. Yes, Atlanta! In a very sexy way. I like the opening. He's off stage. He's walking on. You see random hands touching his body. They're probably slipping a little further south. And then he gets on Do you stage. blame them? I don't blame them. He is a cool cat. The highlight for me is how he works that treadmill. He is schooling Sakis Ruvas 2009. He is schooling Zoe Austria 2016. Visually, it really works. Oh, everything about it. I've never seen the backstage look so good at Melody Festival mm. and ever. I mean, he starts the whole show from the back, takes you to the front, then pows you in the center. This is great. The dancers, the choreography, he is so matched yet so different. They do great stuff behind him, but he elevates his own work. This guy is totally on point. Vocally, he doesn't falter at Musically, all. Musically, he doesn't falter at And all. let's not forget <laughs> sexually! That's right, he is ticking all the boxes. This is not my personal winner, and this this is just not my type of genre. Like, I would not download this kind of music. However, I could see Lots and lots of Swedes getting behind this. He proved, proved himself last year. Did he come third, fourth? He was I high. Mean, I just he know I want high. all the artwork in every postcard and I want every mix of this because I can't go on. I, you How want. do you think this will do at Eurovision? Oh, this will slay. This is Eric Sade's popular for a much broader oh. generation. You know, yeah. Eric Sade is very teen pop. This, as you said in your opening, it's funky, yeah. it's R&B, it's soulful, it's pop, it's playful. Teenager to grandmother, they would get it. And why shouldn't they? You know why I love Robin Bingston? We hosted a party, um, the Wee Wee Jam in Stockholm, and Robin Bingston was out of town, he wasn't, he wasn't even in Sweden at the time. So we couldn't actually while bill we him. Yeah, while we were planning. So we couldn't actually bill him that he was going to appear, just in case he mm. didn't. The guy flies into Stockholm, shows up at the party, it's like, you know Got the what? USB stick with the backing track. <laughs> Dog! He sang, you know, him and Lisa Ajax are good friends, they have the same record label, and you know, they showed up, they sang one after the other, he was so kind, so generous with his no time. Drama, no, no drama, no complication. No diva. He just comes to slay. Well, some people are like, I want 12 extra tickets and five drinks and dinner and a cat. He was like, I'm here, I'm gonna sing. He just wanted to be with his fans, that's how you slay. Final point, my favorite moment of all of this is with the backing shot from behind when they're on the stage. You get the sense of the audience, all the funky freshness on that stage. It's just amazing. Well, you want to know my favorite? Deep moi. Three minutes of the entire song, so make sure you watch <laughs> it. <laughs> Are you loving Robin Bingson? Can you go on? Can he go on? How would he do at Eurovision? You can let us know here on Ruby Blogs. Be sure to follow us. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, Tumblr, YouTube, and we have a new app. Tell us about it. You can download it on iOS and Android and it's totally free, so no excuses. See you later. Bye! Bye.